Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome back to another episode of Curse of the Dead Gods. I think we're gonna try, I mean if I was feeling really crazy we'd go with Game of Death, but let's just go for a regular long exploration in the Jaguar path, just, just to shake things up a little bit. Give us uh, a break from our torment down in the catacombs. I mean, uh, I'd like to think that this should be an, an easy run. Because, you know, I, I know, I know down here. Oh dear, oh dear. I know, or is it down here or up here? I guess it really depends on how you perceive geometry in this godforsaken place. That's what I like to see. Are you guys still active? There we go. Also, it might just be me. Oh, Gaslight. How could you? I feel like... Is it just me, or is the, uh... The green counter ticking down faster up here? Am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. I am... Possibly crazy. I cannot rule out the fact that we may well be crazy. Anyway, now that I have, uh... Established that several times. Let's uh, move on with our life. I and mean, we got some nice weapons to start off with, so I'm very, very happy about that. I mean, a weapon. I like heavy weapons that stun lock my foes. And why shouldn't I like that? It uh, makes life easier for us, doesn't it? All right, there we go. Oh, but I'm a little too slow. Not that slow, though. Oh yeah, I should probably mention. Wrong tab. I'll never get used to that. Yeah, I figured I'd swap things out for this, because... Parrying never goes out of style. Though, um... I do think maybe... I'm gonna keep the claws. Because they're a fun weapon, even though I'm mostly just making this the... Jaguar Hammer show. But anyway, I figure that as much as I like the um, the other abilities that uh, we've had, you know, like plus one dexterity for a perfect run or uh, more damage, the more... Um, yeah, I'm going to get out of here. The more damage, the more... Uh, your greed combo is. But, I'm just thinking to myself that, uh, something that is perpetually useful and doesn't require me to play perfectly is probably better overall for my general mental well-being. Because as we, uh, as I sort of fumbled around saying last time, I think one of my biggest problems in life is that I make way too big a deal out of being quote-unquote perfect. You know what, this is probably a good time for us. A less... Yeah... Explosive weapon. That's some good stuff right there. Alright, just a straight plus three dexterity, I can dig that. I mean, I don't mind admitting, I think... I'm probably a bit of a perfectionist. It... it... To some extent, anyway. My ongoing problem in life is that... No matter what I do, it is never good enough. Which... Can be really mentally draining sometimes. And... At least, you know, the plus side is, I do recognize this problem in myself. So I just need to, you know, figure out how... How to, uh... Overcome it. And like with most problems in life, it's... An ongoing effort that, you know, will probably always be a part of me, but, you know, it's those little, little struggles that uh, make up day-to-day -day life and kind of define who we are. And, yeah, I'll be honest, it's, it's one of the many, many aspects of myself I don't like that much, <laughs> because surely, surely giving myself a little bit of credit now and then couldn't hurt. Well, actually, I suppose maybe I'm being a little dramatic. It's it's more of a case 
and you know, you know, by talking about it, maybe it'll turn out that uh, this is actually a fairly common thing that many people experience. Dang it. Uh, in this case, this thing that I speak of. I. I should have known better. Anyway, where uh, I'm gonna keep the fire thing. Uh, you know, you feel good for an accomplishment initially, but in a, I mean, it's it. I guess it's it's like a drug. You know, you you achieve something, but then you feel like you need to achieve more, and then you know previous achievements suddenly seem lesser. You know. And, and, you know, achievements get, uh, I don't know, progressively less achieve-ish. They feel like less like achievements over time. Until you get to a point where anything you do ends up, uh, like, you don't even... You don't even get excited about it anymore. You're just like, oh, you know, you know, I, I did a thing. It wasn't that great. It wasn't very good. Should have been better. Probably should be careful here. It's a very destructive mindset, basically, is what I'm getting at here, and uh, wouldn't recommend it. I guess that's the. Uh, oh God, no! My combo, my beautiful, beautiful combo. My beautiful, beautiful health bar. Anyway. You know, um, I don't know. Like, I guess it comes down to there's always, there needs to be a balance between, you know, wanting to, wanting to do better for the sake of, you know, like, self-improvement and stuff. And then, you know, taking it too far and becoming obsessive about it and never really taking a moment to enjoy the little things. Because it's the little things that make up life. And like with most things in life as well, uh, some things just take time. You know, you gotta, hey, you gotta learn to crawl before you can walk, walk before you can run, that sort of thing. You gotta learn to, uh, you know, just... If there's something you want to do, you gotta take it one step at a time, build... You know, one, one piece, one step, one, uh, you know, you, I guess you break your achievements down into smaller achievements, or goals, I guess could be the way of putting it. Yeah, you break your goals down into smaller goals that are easier to achieve, and then, you know, each of those smaller goals leads to your main goal. And the key thing in life is to never lose sight of those small goals, the little steps in between, and to uh, celebrate those as you go along. Uh, real, you know, journey- oh god. Oh, come on. I hate you, giant man. Being able to hit me from halfway across the map, but anyway. I should know what to expect at this point. Extra fire attack damage? I mean, that would be pretty useful. You know, I'm gonna buy that. I could just blood sacrifice it, but I feel like spending my money today. Though I will. Alright, let's see if we can get a perfect run here. Alright, hello, hello, hello. Oh god, no, my... Oh, I hate you, Jaguar man. Though I did bring it upon myself, I do have to recognize that much. Don't have to like it, though. Anyway, yeah, so... Make of my rambling nonsense what you will. Oh yeah, there we go. Get the stuns in there. Don't give them a chance to move. That's what I like to see. Just set them on fire, even though... Uh... Perhaps shockingly, being on fire doesn't really seem to uh, bother him that- Oh god! Why do you keep doing that, Gaslight? You know what to expect. 
What have I been playing recently that's making me play perhaps overly aggressive? Hmm. Let's see here. Well, it is better. 20% so extra damage if you got a pistol. Well, then again, guaranteed critical damage when I've burned my stamina is actually pretty good. Gold offerings remove corruption. That's always nice. Not as nice as healing would be, of course. Uh, how do I want to play this? I think I'll go... This way, and I don't like using the Havens, but we got to work our way back up. And that's what we should focus on, you know? We, we haven't been playing so great. Um, oh dear. Even down here, or up here, whatever its level is relative to the catacombs. But, you know, all things come in time. I guess. Uh, okay, that's one of my least favorite uh, curses, but then again. We do set enemies on fire when we attack them. So oh god, I hate you so much. I hate you too. Oh, but you just got wrecked! And you got killed by the environment, sucker. You can't do anything to me as long as I keep attacking you, so haha. -ha. Anyway, let's not get uh, cocky here. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Though we've got two plus 30% fire damage attacks now, so. Want to do a quick dodge roll there just in case the, I guess, splash damage, if you will, of the. Uh... So long, sucker! All right, attack! Oh no no don't! Why did I do that? I really thought I was gonna be able to parry that, but I I keep forgetting that there's like a bit of a, a stagger time after attacking with a heavy weapon. Oh! Oh, money! My money! Oh god, oh god! Burned my stamina. I left... I left one coin back there, and... Oh no, I do still have my kill counter. Though it's not quite what I'd like it to be. Such is life, though. Life's a funny thing, isn't it? Alright. Now, we know, of course, in this layout, that there are enemies coming up. And we know that we don't have to fear anymore, because they are dead. For now. But there are more. There's always more. Ooh, yes. Clever little sneak there. But not clever enough. Tisk tisk. Alright. So overall, I would dare say we're, we're doing acceptable. We're doing, some would even say, adequate. And at this stage of the game... Wow, those claws are actually... I have, You know what? I should start using these claws instead of the hammer, because they're faster, which would allow me to dodge easier. Which, in turn... Of course, I guess it also... It depends on what I'm fighting. Like, with these guys, I think that was the right play. Oh, dear. And my combo, my precious... Precious combo. Okay, now it's... Oh, never mind. I was going to say we had burned all our stamina and we were going to... 20% for spears. I'm going to leave that because I don't want to use spears today. I know. It's blasphemy. Best weapon in the game, possibly, maybe. Well, I guess it depends on your opinion. Some might even say claws are the best weapon in the game because they are much faster. In any case... What matters is that we we are not dead. We are, in fact, very much alive. And beyond that... Well, beyond that, I don't really have much else to say. I'm gonna 
just take those out just to be safe. Because I've got a feeling they could still come back to- why was I worried about that? I do have the big smashy hammer. And you are the Jaguar Bow, which does have fire attacks. Does an extra 20% damage if it's the first strike. I'm gonna keep the hammer though. Because I do like being able to stun enemies and the bow does not do that. Though, the flip side is the bow does let me stay away. Oh dear. Oh, that was so close. Okay, I set something on fire back there. No, gaslight, you fool. Anyway, to be honest with you, I don't really know how I avoided taking damage there because that was really poorly played. Hmm. Now hang on a second here. It's just, yeah, just any gold offering removes any corruption. That's pretty good. Though I thought they had changed that so that it uh, removed a percentage of corruption of like the gold you spent to encourage you to spend more gold. Maybe that's just a rare variant that they kept around. Even more fire damage. Well, I mean we lose a bit of dexterity but I'm pretty sure that's just gonna keep on stacking the fire damage is based on my understanding of how this game works so frankly we're probably better off. So yeah, good, good times. Alright, here we go. This room also, due to the way it works, it uh, basically renders the um... Ooh, I'm so glad I dodged that. Oh no. Oh no. I know, I could have just dodged him. Oh god. Well, that worked out pretty nicely. I was freaking out the whole time though, I don't mind admitting that. Okay. I don't think now is the time to use all of our, um, our re-flippy things. Yeah, that's what they're called. You know, the stuff that lets us change what we have access to. The, uh, Divine Favors. That little ten thing down there. Oh, come on! I don't need this. I really don't. You know what, I'm gonna get cursed anyway, so... What the heck? Might as well go into this at full health. I'm a little disappointed. I thought I had spent enough gold so that I wouldn't get this second curse, but... Oh well. Oh, this is interesting. Maximum stamina is reduced by one. Killing an enemy without any wep- or with any weapon restores two stamina. Oh. I'll be honest, I thought that was going to be something that caused us to, um... That's a very unfortunate combination, because I, I really don't like either of these. Oh dear. And there goes my combo. Should have spent more time trying to get a relic that slowed the decay of the combo meter. Oh well, live and learn. Ah, shucks. I really wanted to get a parry in there. There we go, that's what I like to see. That's the good stuff. Swing, swing, punch, stab, punch. You want some really rare relic, now that I think about it? The one that gives you plus one stamina. Like, I almost never see that. I know it exists, but you very rarely see it. Oh, shoot. There we go. Good day, sir, or madam. Whichever you are. The important thing is, you are dead. Uh, Blurg. 
I mean, I guess I'm gonna get rid of this one. I feel that's the bigger danger to me, personally. Lowered gold offering cost. I don't like... Well, this is actually useless to us now. Well, the, the dexterity is still good, but... Uh, its actual effect is useless to us now. I'm gonna... I guess I'll take that. Oh, wait, this whole time I could have been removing corruption by killing enemies with the Rainmaker. What a silly goose. Anyway, let's move on. I don't want the dagger, by the way. Hence why I'm leaving it behind. Hmm. Well. I'm not sure how I feel here. I also know that, uh... Fire becomes a little bit of a liability when it comes... Oh dear. When it comes to, uh, Jaguar God, person man. Uh, can I just set that on fire and burn you to death? Oh, thank god I was out of range. But I still tried to dodge it for some reason. Like I said, there's, there's a little bit of lag for obvious reasons with a heavy weapon. And maybe I uh, run out of the way here for a second. I am really lucky that didn't hit me. Because not only did I parry at the wrong time, why? Why is there all this red fog around here? I feel like this is a new effect that was not here when I last played the game. Or did I just not notice it until now? I mean, it really could go either way. Anyway, uh, the the Jaguar boss man person, he, uh, what does he do? He, like, what is it? Overcharges when, uh, okay, that's actually pretty good. I just wish it gave me dexterity instead of perception. Actually, let's have a quick look here. What are the odds that I'm actually going to see another relic before the end of this? The answer is none, so let's kind of re-roll and look for something that's perfect. Gold offerings remove 10 corruption. Slightly worse than this, but it does give us more dexterity. Evidently, I didn't think it was good enough. Oh, jeez. This is not the run to be hoarding money, I think. Forty-five against weakened enemies. Okay, that's really useful, especially against the final boss. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna take this one. My logic being that, uh... The final boss can hit really hard, so... Limiting how much pain he can do in a single strike is pretty good. I also can't help but notice I have not really lived up to my own, uh, my own stated plan of, uh, trying to use the claws more. Hello, possibly better smashing hammer. Yeah, this, this faster weapon is really good. Oh yeah, that's, that's much better. It also does 20% more critical damage. Now, if only I had a way to do guaranteed critical damage on these guys. Oh god! Why did I play that way? Oh, and I'm on fire. Story of my life. Anyway, that was, um... That was less than ideal. However... I think... I think we'll be fine. Did I take the thing that actually heals me? No, I didn't. As I... Like pain or something. Oh dear. Oh dear. What hit me? It was the little guy. I hate you, little guy. Little skeleton man. I hate you too. Stabby, punchy man. But I am also making another classic gaslight mistake of... Uh, when I start having difficulty, I just keep doubling down on... Bad life choices. 
important to stay calm, cool, collected, rational. And all these other fancy R words. There's actually only one rational in that entire spiel, so I'm not entirely sure where I was going with that. I was going somewhere. But also nowhere, possibly. Alright, we're fine. We're fine, though. I mean, we can beat the boss at half health. We've done it before, we'll do it again. Heck, I'm pretty sure we've beat the boss with less than half health before. I mean, he's just a boss. We know his pattern, his behavior, his attacks. We know everything about him. He should not be a problem. Oh dear. Having said that, he may be a problem. But, not today. Assuming I can keep Mr. Bear and Sandy here all stunned forever. Which, you know, we did. Life worked out pretty well there. Would have worked out better if I had some form of healing throughout this, but that's okay. I don't know if I really care about re-ruling our weapons. Because we do have good weapons. I mean, if we had a spear that set enemies on fire, that would be- Is there even a spear that sets enemies on fire? I think the answer is no, but I could be wrong about that. I might be wrong about that. I'm probably- Probably? No, I, you know what? The spears have poison, the hammers have fire. Oh god, you're a champion. And there goes my combo. Which makes me sad. But we had some guaranteed criticals in there, so life life is still okay. I uh, sure, yeah. Hmm. Offhand combos deal critical damage. You know, I really don't do enough of those. Like, I'll, I'll do an offhand combo now and then. I'm gonna go ahead and take the, the stabby stab weapon. That seems fine. I mean, having a source of guaranteed critical damage, frankly, feels wise. Oh shoot. And there goes my combo again. I don't like that offhand combo quite as much, though. Like, it's, it's good, but... Well, I guess it has its purpose. You know, sometimes you want to get pushed away from the enemy, but sometimes you want to just keep going hard at them until they are well and truly dead. That's the gaming by Gaslight way. Or something like that. Hello? Ah, you don't cause fire. And you do less damage. But what are your specials, anyway? Attacks from behind, deal more damage. Damage against uninjured enemies. Right. And seeing as the Claw's charge attack does attack from behind, I can see where that would be useful. Alright, and we're gonna get a chance to see if maybe we want to swap out our weapon. I think the answer is no, because we've built this whole thing up to be around doing excessive amounts of fire-based damage. But, having said that, we could still change our mind. But probably not, given the fact that we are able to kill most enemies in one or two hits. Oh god, I saw it coming, and I did nothing to stop it. Truly the gravest sin of all. Apathy. Just sitting there and not stopping. I could have rolled out of the way, but I didn't. And I have just put us fervor and fervor into health debt. Oh, how did you miss that? Oh, 
one of those moments in life where you just really, you just look at yourself and you think, what are you doing? How did you miss that? He's the size of a frickin' brick. I mean, that's really not gonna help us at this point, but, uh, the dexterity might. Oh god, they're all champion enemies. Oh dear. Thank you for dying. Come on. There we go, that's the good stuff. Now if only I also had something that gave me more damage when we were in the light. That would synergize nicely with our... our fire-based stratagem here. Actually, I'm kind of surprised with how much money I have. Like, I haven't been playing that well. How do I have this much cash? Feels odd to me. But here we are, and we are somehow still alive and not dead, so... Yay, I guess. And if I buy a weapon here, whether I need it or not... Ooh, which way? Left or right? I get... Oh, almost... Almost rolled when I should have paused for breath. Which is the mistake I made right there. I'm an idiot. I... I... I don't mind admitting that. I mean, I don't like admitting it, but if you can't admit when you screw up, well, what are you good for? You can't learn if you don't admit you make mistakes, I guess. Though, <laughs> though sometimes I wonder if I actually learn from my mistakes, since I do seem to keep making them. Ah, but then again, no one's perfect. At least I'm not perfect anyway. And besides, this could be exciting. We're, uh... We are increasing the odds of failure, which in turn, make our inevitable... Well, maybe not inevitable, but our eventual possible victory all the sweeter, if it happens. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna swap that out. At this point, I think we just, we want as much raw damage as we can possibly muster. Oh, well, that, uh, it's not bad, it's not bad. But, uh, not necessarily what I was looking for. You know, back when I had it, I should have made use of that gun that reduced corruption on kills. Okay, well. Gonna be an exciting, uh, exciting day in the neighborhood. All right, don't worry about your combo. Just don't get hit. Actually, kind of surprised there. My uh, okay, take out the big guy. All right, that was that was a poor setup, in my opinion. And that was a poor setup as well. Mostly because I hesitated just one second too long. I should have, uh... I should have just decided who I wanted to attack and gone after them. But I didn't. I paused and I thought to myself, huh, should I attack the skeleton or the jaguar? Gotta get that killer instinct back. Alright, now this... That is tempting. If it's set and if there was a fire version of the Titan Slayer, I think I would take this. I mean, it does have guaranteed critical hits. However, I mean 30. I don't I, I'm not actually entirely sure how this adds up. Like, is it is it 30 damage and then on that new modified value, it's another 30 percent on top of that, and then 30 percent on top of that? Or is it just 30, 60, 90? Not really sure. Ah, but I mean, guaranteed critical damage, and it it just it's guaranteed critical damage. Its base damage is more. If we're in the dark, plus it gets damage based on perception. 
We do have seven rerolls, however. Attack steal 10% HP. Okay, that's there is some temptation there. Fire attacks for perfect shot and offhand combo. Restores 1% for each enemy killed. That's not really useful at this point. Poison. It's always fun, but... Okay, you're giving me this again. It le less damage. Okay, this does even more damage. Plus 10% base damage. Okay, that's more useful than critical, because this doesn't have a gr uh, guaranteed critical condition. As far as I know. Alright, I'm just going to go with this one. When we could keep re-rolling, maybe we could have gotten like a super legendary fired Jaguar Hammer. But, uh... If we've learned anything from the past, it's that sometimes... Sometimes you gotta know when to step away from the table. And I think that was a case of stepping away from the table. I can probably take two hits from this guy before dying, by the way. So, you know, we should probably, uh... Make sure we're smart about that. And then run away. Oh yeah, that's the one you really don't want to get hit by. Oh god! Okay. I might be able to take more than one. That's the thing I gotta remember about this guy. He does have like a weird... I find most of the bosses have like a weird... Uh... Like sometimes they don't get stunned. It's usually pretty easy to tell when uh, that moment's going to happen. But, not always. Oh god. Alright, I, I think we've got this. But I don't want to get uh, ahead of myself before the curtain comes down, as it were. Oh dear. Okay. Here we go. Alright. He... He went, uh, really big flame mode. Okay, this is it. Did I see his health go up for a second there? Am I crazy? Does he regenerate his health when he's on fire? He might, but it doesn't matter because he's dead now. So, uh... Yay, we won! Until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And I'll see all you in the next video.